I can tell you why they're getting on be better. What's up? Because she's a... One, two, one, two. Microphone check. Uh, let's have fun, fellas. Let's have fun. Let's go. Eric, your 10th outing here at the O2 Arena. And what's your best memory? You know, number 10. I didn't even know. You know, I was, when I was sitting on the podium, I was wondering, what number of fighters is at the O2? I think my best outing was... Um, my first fight at O2 Arena. That was, but I, I, it was like me walking to this place. I was like, wow. I would like to headline here one day. That's my. That's, that was like my my beginning at the O2 Arena. You started your career early on with Frank Warren. Yes. Is it fitting that Frank Warren's going to be beside you on the tenth? No, I don't think Frank Warren is beside me. He's on beside Joe. Ringside. But ringside. But I'm happy to be part of the whole Queensbury promotion and Frank Warren promotion because you know I started with him and with Dean Powell, as he said to you, as we said on the podium. You know, it's been it's been amazing. You know, it's been great. It's going to be emotional. It's an emotional day for me. It's an emotional week for me, fellas. Derek, talking about free fights left in your career, and you mentioned it's going to be emotional. How difficult is it to start to come to terms with the end of your career? It's hard, bro. It's hard. But I'll put it this way. I won't take up golf like Tony. I won't be playing golf. What is, what is life after boxing life? I don't know yet, but you know sometimes you have to take a, you have to just sit down for like six months a year to figure out what you're gonna do. Don't just jump in saying things and then suddenly you crash and then you fell down and you're on now. Just sit back and chill. Derek, you uh, mentioned that you've got a couple of fights left. Um, what does a good performance do for you on Saturday night? In the heavyweight division right now is blessed to have so many contenders going forward in the next stage of the career. Who's the one that you're gonna keep your eye out for going into the future of this division? <laughs> Do you know why, yeah? Right now, there's no entertainers. You know, when I say entertainers, even, let's say AJ, Tyson, myself, Dylan, go. There's not really entertainers. There's, there's, there's fighters out there who are fighting, but I don't think they can put bums on seats. That is the problem we're facing right now. You know, Tuma Moses is very good, but we need him to start speaking more now and entertaining us more. You know, um, Fabio, Fabio, He's great, but we need him to entertain us on the microphone, in the ring as well. Do you understand? So, I hope, I hope they do well. Derek, what's the solution to that? Do the promotions have to be better? Like, how do we get more entertaining characters? I, I, th I, th I, think, I, I think the guys have to come out of the show. Do you understand? The guys have to come out of the show. You know, uh, they have to say what they want to say. Just do what you need to do, just be happy in yourself. Because how about these guys are strict on, oh, you can't do it, because we got, we got TV, we got branding, we have to protect the brand, we don't protect this. But for me, me no care about brands. Derek, what's the best and worst thing about working with some of the promoters and some of the good things and bad things you've learned in the sport? Now you know you know what yeah what, what what's good I tell you what boxing is about to become amazing in you know United Kingdom because um, the Saudis are trying to unite all the promoters together do you understand um, and that's great you know so it takes one person to unite everybody and everybody unites together and then you start getting the good fights the big fights you want to get and you are all gonna get those big fights with the kingdom involved now. Derek, did you see the sparring footage Jeremiah Milton put out of Joe Joyce? Well, this is what I say, man. Joe Joyce didn't pay his team out. That's gone. <laughs> Joe Joyce didn't pay his team, bro. You know, he, he didn't pay his sparring partner. I think if you paid your sparring partner, you'd have been okay. You know, you, they won't lick you up. But why you let your sparring partner record, though? That's I don't know, man. People, people, uh, he's just different, bro. Is it uh, Alexis for this fight? Yeah. As it's an emotional event for you, would you have wanted Don in your corner? Uh, me and Don are still friends, but our chapter's closed now. Derek, on this fight itself, we haven't really talked about that in this Pardon? On this fight itself against Joe Joyce, yeah. um, what's, the, what's the game plan? Are you, you going to go in there? You said for the five rounds. Oh, don't worry about it, man. Next question. I do want to ask you, is it the right time to fight with fighting Joe Joyce? You know, is that two losses? The Cash Ali performance might have not been great. Before that, a lot of people were saying, look, he might stop Tyson Fury, he might stop AJ. Do you feel like this is the time to catch Joe Joyce? It's a time to entertain, bro. It's a time to entertain, bro. It's a time for fights are going to happen, bro. Everybody's always trying to say, oh, I don't want to lose. I don't want to get beat by this guy. 
I don't know, no, no, forget that, man. Just fight and just have enjoy, enjoy yourselves. Is it any different when you? Because you seem to like Joe. Is it any different fighting someone that you like? I like all the fighters. I like everybody at box, bro. You know, I like everybody. I, I enjoy it. I like it's, I, it's. It's called entertainment, bro. It's called entertainment. It's called we're entertainers, bro. That's what. That's the whole. That's the whole point. I get your thoughts on AJ versus why the fight ends. Oh, uh, that fight. It's, it's going to be early stoppage. For him. For AJ. I think of Dewar's presence as his father in the corner, it seems to be working for him right now. Yeah, it's working. You know, I, 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 it's going to be a very interesting fight. It was quite interesting to see AJ you know, threaten to kind of go for uh, Dewar. That's boxing talk, it's not interesting. It's boxing, it's fight talk, bro. These guys are not baking, they're fighting, bro. So when people talk fighting talk, don't be shocked. You know, they're not sitting there trying to do cooking lessons, are they? No. They will, there's two big black guys about to beat the shit out of each other, so they get that testosterone going on right now. It was trying to show who's got more balls, do you understand? So, is that the energy you want to see? That's the energy we want to see from every fighter, bro, because it's fight time. After that, after that, you can hug each other and kiss each other, but before that, fight time, bro. Derek, Jay and Froch seem to have settled their feud. What would you make of that? What did they, how did they sell it? Well, Froch is saying that, you know, they, they're getting on a bit better now and things like that. Did you know that? I can tell you why they're getting on a bit better. What's that? Because Frosch is a pussy. You can't start saying and then saying, oh, we're getting a bit better. It's a pussy. Derek, you've shared a ring with the best in the division. Where does Joe Joyce rank in the Monk Show apparently? I don't know. Yeah, I'll let you know on Saturday. On side Derek, can I just get a comment as well on the viral video of the altercation between you and the delivery driver? Just what, what happens? My five guys was cold. You mentioned about Joe being a nice guy and he's not about this life. How much does that play at the detriment when he's facing someone like yourself? It's just, it's just talk, bro. It's just talk, bro. It's just chat. It's just chat. Last question. Talking about corners, Derek, there's uh, talks that Tyson Fury is going to stick with the corner that he went in with Usyk fight. A lot of people give a lot of criticism to his corner after the loss. Uh, did you expect him to stay with, with the people that he's been with and that have got him to this position? Why not? Why not? Because he's a gypsy king, he does what he wants, bro. If you that's gonna make him happy, that's it. But you see, we are outside, we, we judge, oh, you can't talk, you can't do this, you can't do this. Everybody wanted to be our shine. Do you understand? I, I, don't, I personally believe that he knows what to do for himself and he will do the right, the right decision. What happens in that rematch on summer 20th? I, I, I think Alexander wins it. Because I think Alexander wins it this time, we're more stylish. That's great, thanks guys. Okay, I just want to get one picture of the mics.